Hi everyone, today I will play another short campaign uh, called uh, the project called Snap. And I already took the transmission, however, uh, let's see what it says. Our ISF intelligence has surfaced rumors that Steiner forces are planning an attack on a remote research complex belonging to the caused by battle uh, mech and myomer research firm in the Kajikazawa star system. It is home to a project known as Project Cold Snap, an experimental endeavor to develop mech myomer that is designed to withstand extreme weather conditions. It seems that House Steiner is not too happy with the thought of the Dragon gaining enhanced technology that would better our already superior battle mech forces. So we are tasking you with assigning the ISF battle mech defenders with clearing out hostile forces should House Steiner be foolish enough to attack our facility, but be warned, while the extreme weather of the planet is beneficial for our testing purposes, it will make combat a dangerous undertaking. It doesn't really matter, the weather here, and here is what we get as a completion rewards just a four tier level stuff nothing really all that much substantial i will end up selling all this thing so all right so now we get to depart and the reason i took this uh, particular um this particular um, transmission because i'm already as you can see in the house uh, kurita territory right nearby the system where this thing is about to happen so let's go ahead and uh, fly out there. Now, as far as uh, the... Uh, hold on a second. So this is a small uh, combat area. Defend project called Snap's research base from invading Steiner forces. You will be supported by ISF battle mech defenders at the location, but be wary of the planet's volatile weather conditions. Okay. Fair enough. So let's go ahead and do it this way. Okay, let's confirm. Now, as far as the mech goes, I've been actually thinking about it a lot. And I've realized that I haven't played in a while my favorite Cyclops variant, which is this um, CP-11-P. It's a fantastic variant not to miss. I've done a separate video on this channel related to this particular Cyclops variant. Please check it out if you are interested, because unfortunately, since I am not in a conflict zone, I probably won't be able to show you the loadout. Yeah, you see these options are grayed out. But anyways, if you are interested, I have a separate video on this channel about this particular variant. This is the older five, um, uh, what this called, older uh, Star League era variant. Uh, this is the loadout. Uh, just uh, what's important to note is that I do not have any heat sinks. No single, no double hit sinks, no hit sinks whatsoever. With this kind of loadout, it doesn't need them because it just doesn't run hot. So this is something to notice. Instead of hit sinks, I maxed out all the armor and I have something like five tons of AC5 ammo in there to feed this dual AC5 burst fire auto cannons and one ton of SRM ammo for this SRM2 dual SRM2, which is basically, you know, SRM4. So let's go ahead and see how this variant uh, does in this combat. Again, I'm not shaking any lance mates with me. SF 
was right about the Steiner attack on Project Cold Snap's remote research facility. We're showing a large assault force advancing on our position, reinforced by artillery batteries. Mercenary, Combine security forces on site are charged with keeping the classified area safe. They will defend the facility. What we need you to do is silence those artillery cannons. If we can't get to them, we risk Steiner forces destroying all of our research. Silence those guns, then clear the field of any remaining Commonwealth forces. Someone has shot me in the back. My armor in the rear torso is gone. In the center torso. So I need to walk towards those artillery installations. I guess, uh, and destroy them, because that's my current uh, objective, as you can see, to destroy the artillery. Why am I getting stuck? Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. So let's go ahead and quickly re get rid of all these artillery installations and then we'll see what our next objective is. Yeah, I should have been more careful because I didn't realize that something was shooting me in the back while I was busy with destroying some things in there. Let's just walk through them. Okay, something is running after me again. Let's stop. Aerial targets. You know, those helicopters are just sitting in the air waiting for me to shoot at them. They should have been, you know, more mobile and making it more difficult for me to hit them. So far I'm seeing a lot of uh, light mechs. Missiles as oh, that's the Jagger mech, that uh, missile based variant. Okay, where is him? I have to approach him carefully. 
And I have to watch, watch my back really carefully. Actually, I looks like I still need to destroy some artillery in here. Okay, yeah, we'll deal with the mechs later. Let's uh, complete our primary objectives uh, here first, which is the artillery. And this could be it, actually. I don't quite remember. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to deal with him now because I don't want to expose my back to him. And I have two helicopters. Oh man, I have actually a lot of stuff uh, going after me. Yeah. Mostly the light mix. of things it's a lot of things okay something is taking down those helicopters okay i still need to go deal with that artillery need to make it there somehow the nice thing about the cyclops is that you know 90 ton assault mech which walks it's 60 64 kilometers per hour this is you know quite rare for a 90 ton assault mech Okay, so there is that artillery. Something is already throwing PPCs at me, but uh, let me let me deal with the artillery first. Ah, okay. Looks like the friendly forces are already working on that. Okay, now we can finally finish off this enemy forces target acquired target destroyed all right new target javelin else was out there so yeah now my primary objective is to eliminate all enemy mechs how many oh wow black it's black knight harmless black knight that's actually the succession wars era downgraded variants it's not the, the best one are easy to work with they can't take a lot of beating oh whoa, 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 whoa. hold on a second there is archer i need to take him down as soon as possible they will deal with this spider i took out his leg let me deal with this archer because you know, with his LRM 40, he can do a lot of things. You've done a great service for the dragon. This today, is it. Commander. Thanks to you, our facility okay. is safe. Return to base and resume garrison positions. 
Combine forces will search for survivors. I'm sure the ISF will have many questions for them. So no components were lost, it's just a mild structure damage in the rear. Just because, you know, I didn't pay attention to something that was shooting me in the back. But other than that, everything is okay. It's still gonna be easy and quick repair. Alright, so let's see what's the salvage. Raven. Is this a good raven? Hmm. I haven't really played Ravens all that much. Yeah, the speed, you know... Yeah, for 35 tons, a speed of 81 kilometers per hour isn't that great, you know, for a light mech. For a light mech, I'd like to have at least uh, 97 kilometers per hour. 81 is kind of slow. It's on a slower side. Let's see. Low cost, I think. Uh, hmm. Actually, I don't think I have this variant. Yeah, let me actually take this low cost. Instead, it's, uh, at least it's uh, it's kind of fast. It's got good dual SS Strek SRM too. So, wow. Wow, that's, you know, quite an advanced variant. And then... The javelin, the, yeah, I don't care about this javelin. And then I need to have some... Um, some... I guess... Oh, double hit sink! Wow, look at that! Who, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay, and some two points to sell so, some junk. Okay, let's go ahead and... Take the... Uh, take the second uh, part so I guess uh, yeah I, I probably won't be able to repair yeah no structure damage it's just uh, I mean the, there is a little bit of structure damage in the rear but otherwise no components were lost and unfortunately I am not able to repair anything in here because this is not a conflict zone or industrial hub so here is the second part of the campaign let's see what it says good now that the base's safety has been secured, it is time for the dragon to strike back. We've discovered that the Steiner agents were attempting to steal the industrial secrets of Project Call Snap for themselves, and we feel that the most appropriate form of retribution is to strike back. We have our eyes on a remote yet extremely valuable Defiance Industries research plant, that produces Defiance branded mech armor composites we want you to destroy the plant with terror and ferocity that the Steiner mongrels would only dream of. Okay, and then we finally receive all this stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and fly out somewhere. So where do we need to fly to? Oh, oh, yikes. That's kind of far. That is kind of far. Look at this. 76 days. That's a long time. I don't like traveling so much. Man, if I only knew that this uh, campaign is gonna make me to fly that far while paying me so little, I wouldn't have undertaken it. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Of course, I'm gonna finish it for this video, but otherwise, I would advise probably to stay away from this one. Because it's way too much flying for very little money. So yeah, I guess I don't really have much options at this point. Let's go ahead and do it anyways, but... Uh, I would probably advise to avoid something like this. Unless unless you're looking to re relocate to the Steiner space. So yeah, now finally I'm able to repair. Let's see this locust. I'm kind of curious about this variant. So we will repair this stuff. Okay. Uh, it looks like the armor is maxed out. Let me see. Is this? Yeah, this is a me medium energy slot. 
Yeah, I guess I will just upgrade this. Actually, can I uh, can I max it out? Ah, it was not maxed out. It was not maxed out. So, because Strike SRM weighs one and a half ton, right? I may have to downgrade this to the SRM two. Okay, and then. I will max out uh, the armor once again, and then I will use uh, put medium laser in here, and then I will uh, do some ammunition just so that I, if I get the ammo explosion, it's not gonna happen in the torso. Ooh, ooh. Now I am over... Oh, I don't need so many uh, heat sinks. That's why. That's why. Actually, as a matter of fact, I will just uh, put uh, single heat sinks in here for the extra protection. Something like that. Yeah, let's do something like that. Yeah, and then I have one extra ton left. One extra ton left. Hold on a second. Maybe I can bring the back that streak SRM. Although, although it will be kind of painful to lose a streak SRM, right, to this uh, stupid locust. I mean, not that locust is stupid, but you know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, vulnerable mech. Yes, it's got some speed. Let me actually do the regular streak SRM to not, not, not this, yeah. And then perhaps I will use the Streak SRM ammo in the arms as well. Because in case if, if it's gonna blow up, then, you know, I'm not gonna get an ammo explosion in the side torso, making things worse. Something like this. Right? Okay. And then I will have to remove some armor, yeah. You see the head now, the, the cockpit has more armor than any other body part in here, so I'm gonna have to shave off some points, yeah, to make it, yeah. And I wouldn't even worry about the head shot in this kind of mech, because you are most likely to get destroyed altogether before you even receive a head shot with this, so that's not my concern whatsoever. Let's actually do the short burst laser, yeah, something like this. Let me save this loadout just in case for the future. All right, well, let's go ahead and start this work order. It's gonna take a long time, but oh, and let's paint it to my uh, dark camo. Okay, so let's see what the contract is gonna be. Yeah, so this is the campaign mission. It's time to strike back against the house Steiner, find the Defiance Industries manufacturing plant and reduce the location to rubble, okay? So clearly this is just a demolition mission. And since this is a demolition mission, I am going to select my favorite current favorite demolition me which is this amazing fire starter fs9-x1 variant the arena variant i featured it many times already on this channel i've said a lot about it let me just quickly show you the loadout i'm not gonna say much about it because i've already said a lot in my previous videos i just have eight machine guns in here which I use for demolition missions. Also, what's important is that through upgrades, I was able to boost up the speed from 113, I believe, kilometers per hour. Yeah, right. From 113 to 130. In my previous videos, I was mistaken, mistakenly saying that I boosted it from 97 kilometers, which is, you know, typical fire starter speed, like regular variants. But this one is not. The original speed was 113 kilometers, which is actually pretty fast. 
Anyways, so let's go ahead and take this mission. And the nasty thing, as you can see, they don't even, you know, let me use the airstrike in here. And what can you do? Anyways, let's let's go ahead and do this mission anyways. marked on your tactical display. Our employer wants it gone, and we aim to please. Light that complex up like a New Year's celebration, Commander. You see, it doesn't even make much the sense to jump to jets like this, because then your speed is even slower than your running speed. Agents looking to steal the project's research and development in Myoma technologies. Such a slight against the Combine will never be tolerated. The Dragon demands retribution, and that is exactly what you will deliver. Your target is a remote Defiance Industries manufacturing plant, specializing in the forging of Defiance-branded mech armor plating. Raise it to the ground, and your contract with the Draconis Combine will be considered fulfilled. He's a good shooter, I must say. The task is done. There's no further need for you to remain at this facility. If House Steiner insists on keeping this pile of rubble, they are free to take it. Return to your dropship, leave this place, and our business oh, will come be on. complete. The Dragon thanks you for your assistance in this delicate Get me out battle. here. Cavalry is here, Commander. Prepare for mech extraction. Too much stalking. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult at all. Hmm, I even managed to get some salvage. Alright. Some crappy salvage. Yeah, nothing much to show in here because... You know... Just demolition mission and it's pretty mild armor damage. We thank you for your assistance in protecting some of the dragon's most closely guarded secrets. Uh, please accept this payment for your good work, but be reminded that you are a bound to plethora of non-disclosure gag orders. If anyone gets word out of our work, you will be sure that the Dragonis Combine will come for you too. All right, all right. Stop uh, bullying. Well, at least I'm getting one double hit sink. Okay, for, well, so looks like this is it for this campaign. It's only two mission campaign. Yeah... Honestly, I would not recommend doing this mission because it's a very little pay for a lot of travel unless unless you're looking to relocate from Draconis combined to this House Steiner territory. 
I am not sure which uh, which other mission I should be doing. I wanna take something that is close. Maybe, maybe I stop the lunch. I remember, uh, which is probably happening somewhere around here, and that's actually uh, you know that's a, uh, still gonna be very long travel. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. I still have, uh, I, I still have about uh, one year until the Dragon's Gambit campaign, and before then I will try to complete some other of these campaigns. Not sure which ones I'm gonna do next, but yeah. Anyways, okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful, and until the next video, have a nice day.